This clip is sponsored by Wash and & Go and that can only mean one thing. That's right, I'm surrounded by a sea of green. By now you should know that Wash & Go is the best way to look after your luscious locks. I mean, look at what it's done for mine, fantastic. But you don't have to take my word for it, just look at some of the 600 plus Unreal reviews on their Amazon page. Linda from the United Kingdom says, well, it smells lush and leaves hair smelling fresh. Fantastic, Linda. Kingdom customer JSB says, product arrived as advertised. Always very important. Always important to know that, Kindle customer JSB. And finally, my personal favourite, it's shampoo and it works for me. Absolutely fantastic there from Casey. It is indeed shampoo and also a conditioner. If you want to get your wash and go today, then hit the link in the description and get your bottle sent to you today. And remember, it's a shampoo and it works for me. I've ended that, Paul, don't worry. Right, let me get this right. It is the best. Um, skulls. Lampard, Gerard. It's the it's, it's the question of our time with a modern twist. So who is the best, Skulls, Lampard, Gerard, or De Bruyne? You can get involved in that in the chat. And who had a worse season, eighty million Maguire or hundred million pounds Lukaku? Says Anthony Johnson. Well. Lukaku's had the worst season because this is this is not Harry Maguire's debut season. He's already he's been here two years. So for me, Lukaku is 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 a hundred percent the worst of the two because he's he's been a complete utter waste of time. I should that should have been PSV after uh, twenty minutes. We'll keep you updated with that. And we've got a bit of a half time debate going on. Who was the best? Scholes, Gerrard, Lampard, or De Bruyne? Now, I am going to give you my very honest opinion on this conversation here. If it's between Scholes, Lampard, Gerrard or De Bruyne, as good as De Bruyne is, he's not in the conversation. Because Frank Lampard, as a midfielder for Chelsea in the Premier League era, was unbelievable at scoring goals. And he, did, he had other strings to his bow, but he was fantastic. Um, and he did it consistently in a side that was winning Premier League titles as well. So he did it at the top. And I think as English players, that's always the thing. You do get overhyped. As an English player, you're always going to get overhyped. But Lampard did deliver. Paul Scholes is probably one of the most te technically gifted midfielders we've produced in this country in the last 30 to 40 years. Uh, his passing range was unbelievable. Um, intelligence and just overall quality is why people like Xavi and Iniesta always talk about him or you always used to talk about him. And then Steven Ger Gerrard was basically a Roy of the Rovers player. That Liverpool were not very good. I always remember being at a barbecue um, when they beat West Ham in that FA Cup final and they were basically going to lose and he just scored that goal from nowhere and he used to do that quite regularly for Liverpool so I think that all three of them deserve to be in the conversation and all three of them deserve to be in the conversation more than De Bruyne who whilst he's a fantastic player I just don't think he, he has what those three players have. So my... Unbi my, my biased answer is Paul Scholes, 100%. It is. And I think there are two answers to this because I think as a, a Man United fan, I can't look past Paul, Paul, Paul Scholes. I think he's just was a fantastic player. I, I almost feel he was a bit underrated and underused, certainly by England. John Joe says Scholes, easy, longevity. It's 1-0 to Ajax. It's 1-0 to Ajax. It is 1-0 to Ajax. That means it's 1-0 to Ajax. Let me just have a quick look what's going on here. Von nil Ajax, get in. If you're a Man United fan, you'll be happy with that. And it's Gravenberg who scores. I haven't seen it yet, but let me just tell you it is 1 nil to Ajax. Let's have a look what happens here. Oh, it's a lovely goal. Lovely goal. If it's Gravenberg, you'll know from my FIFA career mode, the inter striker is a midfielder, edge of the box. Moves his feet and bends it in. He's going to be a cracking player and he gets older as well. Fantastic goal by him. Lovely link-up play and a lovely finish. Keeper can't do anything about it. It's just a lovely goal. And it's one league. Um, so my biased opinion is that Paul Scholes wins the Gerrard and Lampard debate. My unbiased opinion is that... And, and the, only, the only reason I have a bit of an unbiased opinion is if... I wasn't a United fan, wasn't a Liverpool fan, I wasn't a Chelsea fan. Say I'm an Arsenal fan and I need to take one of those players at my club. I'm getting Gerrard. 
because he the the thing that Gerard had that maybe Lampard and Scholes didn't have is that he proved he could do it in a team that wasn't that good consistently and Lampard was in a very good team and Scholes was in a very good team so if you want an unbiased opinion I'd probably say Gerard but bias I'm always going to go with Scholes so there we go but I thought I I do think it's a I lived through those times and they were all I didn't like Jam- Gerard and Lampard because I was a Man United fan I didn't like them at all but I, what I would always say in fairness is that the debate and they were all very good and they were not overrated they were all very very good players and that's why the debate used to rage on um you couldn't play all three of them together i don't think you could play all, i don't I, I think england's biggest problem is one you couldn't play all three of them together you couldn't really play two of them together i think gerard and lampard in the same team was always a mistake as well so yes i would go with that what have you gone with well we've got 36 percent going with skulls we've got 16 17 percent going with lampard we've got 28 percent going with gerard and we've got 19 percent going with de bruyne so de bruyne has picked lampard at the moment but I'm not so sure about that. Not so sure about that. So Ajax leading 1-0 at the moment against PSV. It's 0-0 at half-time between Chelsea and Palace. It's been a dreadful semi-final so far. Please do subscribe, by the way. Bottom right-hand corner. We're very close to 651,000. We're only 10 subscribers away. 10 subscribers away. We're on 650,990 at the moment. So please do subscribe. Bottom right-hand corner. Let's see if we can hit 651,000. And um, English fans are so bad compared to Dutch fans, says Eloy. Okay, let's, let's not start having those sort of conversations. We don't need to do that. But um, it's, it's been a good game. Ajax and PSV is a much better game than the one we've watched between Palace and um, Chelsea so far. Three great players with no clear answer. In your opinion, Mark, who were, the best th- who were their best midfield partners and which of these partnerships was the best, says Miad. Well... I don't know enough about Liverpool and Chelsea to tell you who Gerard and Lampard's best partner was. I would say that Gerard and Alonso was probably their best uh, best pair. Lampard and I'm trying to think back who who Lampard would have played with would, would it have been Lampard and Makaleli or was that not quite right? With Skulls, well Skulls and Keane was the best. Um, yeah, Skulls and Keane was the best combination there. So. Skulls and Keane would win that one for me. Yeah. Um, Balak as well. Sen. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Sen was fantastic. I'd 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 have loved to let Sen to be at Manchester United. Ten Hag there with his little notepad. Likes to take his notes. Packed out. I mean, what's the capacity of this game between PSV and Ajax? It's not a. It's not a Sunday public. I mean, people make it out like the. Um, the Dutch league is uh, pub football, don't they? I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of. Uh, Sport support. I mean, PS. I, I tell you what, though, advantage for Ajax because PSV played Thursday night, didn't they? They had a very big game against Leicester on Thursday night, but they're on the attack here. PSV, little cross, well away. Go. Yep. Samir says English bias. Well. I, 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 there sort of has to be an English bias when it's Lampard, Gerrard and Scholes. Uh, the capacity is 50,000, says Harjot. There you go. It's a shame, though, because I mean the, the, the atmosphere is fantastic in this PSV game against Ajax in the Cup final, the Dutch Cup final. Ajax leading 1-0 at the moment. Fantastic atmosphere. Lovely sunny day in the Netherlands. Same in London. Fantastic atmosphere. I thought all the flags from the Palace fans was absolutely incredible. But the football's just not lived up to it. It's not it's not been a very good game so far. So hopefully we'll see a little bit more in the second half because I think the way this game's going between Chelsea and Palace, it'll be won by one goal. De Bruyne, Modric and Cruz poll suggestion, says Jemmy. And do you think Maguire will win a Ballon d'Or uh, one day? Tiger Claws, there's not many things that you can predict in life and be safe and sure. But Harry Maguire's 29, he's never winning a Ballon d'Or. I can I can tell you that for now. There's plenty of other players I can tell you that will never win a Ballon d'Or. Scott McTominay will never win a Ballon d'Or. Fred will never win a Ballon d'Or. I would argue that Bruno and Rashford won't win Ballon d'Ors, but they, there is a slim chance for them. There's no chance of that, no. Um... 
Oh, Bridge, that's the end of the clip. I'm sure you enjoyed it. In fact, I bet that's the best clip you've ever watched. So there's no reason not to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon so you never miss a clip again. In fact, smash a like on the video because we all know only legends like videos and you are all legends. So please smash a like on the video and uh, we will see you again on the next one. Thank you very much for watching as always.